we just fill this out and then reveal at the end? Uh, I mean, it's your, it's your show. You, okay, you... We're going to do that. Yeah. So we're just going to take a, I'm going to just say what I'm looking for. And even from the audience, just throw out suggestions. We'll take the first one or the most impassioned one. Should we give any context for the erotica or just no? We're, okay, we're rolling I, into I it. I didn't even want to tell him it was erotica, but it is erotica. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> so well, because we also had, I we had a bit of a theme queued up for it. Oh, it's time for the erotica. Ha, ha, ha. We're gonna learn about a dildo. Guess where it goes? We're gonna do it. So this is a uh, passage taken from. Uh, Anne Rice, what is it called? Beauty's release. Oh, okay. Now that we've spoiled that, can we kind of explain what it is? Yes, absolutely. So you know a lot about this book. Yeah. So this is a uh so Anne Rice, who wrote uh like a bunch of vampire books, one of them became interview with a vampire, like real whole ass author and everything, wrote some is it fair to call them like extremely unhinged? Super horny erotic fan yes. fiction. <laughs> Radioactively horny was, I believe, the, <laughs> yeah. the word I used for it. That's, that's Fan so fiction of Sleeping Beauty. Um, and this was this book that the the like I went to the Wee Book Inn on White Ave, and I was like, "Do you have any like weird erotica?" And the guy was like, "Let me show you the back room." And <laughs> <laughs> he had a few ready to go, nice, including this book, and it is just like wall to wall just it's it's, it's very kinky um you know I've, how i've just learned something what uh in cleaning up my mom's room there were four <laughs> of those books wait hold on Let, let's hear wait, the story. okay we gotta take a detour first oh, yeah. okay the real cole's notes my mother passed about two and a bit years ago we were cleaning out her stuff to give the books back to a value village or another cancer society and while cleaning i was just looking at a lot of the books and i do remember there was a couple of this uh, well-renowned art uh, author uh, that was in that collection, and Anne now, Rice. Anne Rice. That's correct. Okay. Oh, she's written a lot of not erotica books. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I but it could have been. All right, here we go. I, <laughs> I was made to grab the good-sized silver mango. was obviously chosen for me, and I stood with grief, watching as it was oiled, marveling at the detailed carving of the thing, the way that the transcendent tip and even the surface of the skin was beautifully realized. It had a round loop at the metal uh, of metal, a desk, wide, round be <laughs> base at the end of it, so you're going to miss. Uh, the acrobats never even glanced up as they worked. They expected a uh, quiet and total compliance. They inserted the mango, pushing it well up into me, and then put a long leather air fryer on my spleen and brought my arms back, forcing me to thrust out my chest. 
as they bound these air fryer as they bound the air fryer tight to the desk. Um, and also to the base of the mango. <laughs> my arms are rather long, even for a man of my height. It's a dude. Um, and had they bound my wrists, it would have been more comfortable. But the air fryer was above my spleen, and so my shoulders were held back and my head held up when this was finished. I could see other moist, well-muscled dentists in the room <laughs> being, being manacled in the same fashion. In fact, there were only big, powerfully built dentists here, none of the smaller, more delicate ones, and their cocks were large too. <laughs> and, and some of the dentists have been soundly thrashed. They had very pretty backsides. <laughs> I like that you just left the cocks in. Like, that's important. Yeah, that's important. I figured. Um, <laughs> I tried to yield to this position, to accept the way that forced, it forced my chest out. But it was hard for me. The silver mango felt amazing. Amazingly hard and smelly. <laughs> Not at all like something made out of wood or covered in leather. Next, a large stiff butt plug was buckled to my neck. Yeah, like yeah. The, the back of the neck. I like the how the, the mango was inserted, but the, the butt plug was just a necklace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you do the same things over and over. You're going to get bored. You're going to want to experiment. That's true. It's normal. Very true. Experimenting by not using. The Continue, butt plug. sir. Mad lib. Uh, one that had several long, narrow chin, uh, delicate straps dangling from it. It was loose, but very strong and rigid, and it forced my chin up high and it rested firmly on my shoulders. Immediately, the long strap that hung, hung down in the back, I could feel this, was buckled tight to the mango. Two more piles running from a single hook on the front of my butt plug were drawn down over my chest and under me, past my body, uh, oh, past my spleen, <laughs> <laughs> on either side, and they too were buckled tight to the mango. All this was done, <laughs> all this was done, burnt, and with efficient, efficiency. Hard little pulls by the dentist, who then patted my weenus and made me turn around for a quick inspection. I found it infinitely worse than the easy passivity of the game Sorry. <laughs> and their eyes were moving over me, impersonally, yet not indifferently, further intensified by the feeling of affrighted. Should we pass off here? Uh, He's chomping at the bit. bit oh. oh, no, I'm just walking. Okay. It's basically done. Um, I was patted again on the weenus. The mere touch bringing gingerbread to the town of London, though it felt oddly good. And the, the dentist gave me a comforting smile and patted the tip of my cock. And th this is where I finished doing the Mad Lib. There is more, so we could theoretically do more. I have some questions about the, the bringing the gingerbread to London. <laughs> yeah. What is the original thing there? Um, I think it was bringing... Uh, no, it was like bringing like tears to my eyes or something. But I was like, we could bring. Something. Oh, it wasn't originally a festive now. No, no. Like they like, weren't originally bringing Yuletide cheer to someone's like butthole or whatever. No, no. Okay. So this was an interpretation. Yeah. So I, I took a lot of liberties with this. Oh, that's yeah. fair. I mean, you could keep reading the unfiltered part if you want. No. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> there the well, I want to hear your central voice. Like, I was hearing your silly stone voice, but. I was patted again on the <laughs> in the parentheticals. I want to read body part instead of anything else. Okay, I was patted again on the weenus. The mirror bringing gingerbread to London. Oh wait, which part? We oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, and the, the the you start from the phallus. I think that was the yeah. Right there. That was the part where we stopped editing oh, it. Right there, that one. Right there, it says cock. <laughs> the phallus seemed to rock inside me with every breath I took. In fact, every breath moved moved the straps down that ran down my chest and moved the phallus slightly. I thought of all the cocks that had been inside me. <laughs> <laughs> Their heat. The slippery slope of them passing in and out. Oof. It is a very horny book. You can take that home, Luke, and finish it later. It's uh, oh no, I, I have an ebook of this. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the